It is your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. I rarely do videos in my car, but I am an hour early for an appointment by accident, so, and I'm not a morning person, y'all all know that. I utilize my time wisely, so I multitask, so if I have to sit somewhere, I start to vlog, make edits to manuscripts that I have, things of that nature. So, today I was coming because I want to and need to um, talk about healing in the midst of the storm, the susceptibility we have to feel fragile and broken in the midst of turmoil, the feelings of defeat. I've been getting hit up in my comments and in my DMs on my other social media platforms and also email. One of the most popular videos I've done was about love spells and witchcraft, which was a very short video. And I put up a short, but it's thousands of views. and. What I realized is I asked the Holy Spirit, is that something I need to speak about more, go in depth, but it's not just coming from a standpoint of love spells or witchcraft or people believe in it or not, or I don't want to be profess to be an expert in any of that because what I do know is about spiritual warfare. What I do know about is clinical mental health disease disorder and illness what i do know about is in the spirit things mounting you in the spirit things attacking you in the spirit things seeing that you are the blessing and knowing your gifts and your potential and what i speak to is healing and deliverance even for myself reminding myself that it's the power that's within me that is making the attack even more crazier and more heavier and so with these people that are love broken that are reaching out to me i have to approach my response first from the holy spirit but also delicately because people are really getting on these platforms expressing themselves just like i've done they're really seeking help they're really talking to you as their buddy about love and betrayal and distrust and disorders and abuse mental emotional physical and so i am going to be and i'm going to continue to be a steward of being real to and true to who i am despite popularity and so of course i don't have a script but i wanted to say to all of the many 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 responses i've had towards love spells witchcraft why i don't feel love why i want to bring them back um if you felt that someone came and disrupted your life and was influenced to leave your life by some entity or someone else, let them. The minute we petition, cast a spell, pray to the deities, the minute we get involved in all of that, if we can't even conceptualize what's going on with us to make us so desperate to want the love that has walked away, want the love that has mistreated us, if we can't even conceptualize why we want it back, just imagine what kind of spirits and attachments they're going to bring back to you. Freedom. You see this hat? Freedom. A lot of people are trying to manipulate and coerce people to come back into their life. But if you're possessing your true freedom, you don't look back. You don't look back and be like, I got to prove that I'm free. You got to walk in that freedom. You got to pray to God every day about healing and strength, keeping your mind sharp and focused and, and free from all negativity and distractions. When you are really free, you soar like this eagle. You so high that you don't even see and aren't entertained by the things that are beneath you, behind you, on the side, if they don't help you soar. When you look around at certain people that's soaring, there's not many people that can fly at that altitude, okay? So when you get your freedom, you are breaking free from something. You have now said this bondage never benefited me and now I am breaking free and I take the right and I grant myself permission to do so. At this point in the world, we don't need to look for validation or resolve in some things because everything that happened was laid out. Is some things we choose to ignore, is some things we choose to turn away from, is some highs we choose to enjoy during the sporadic events of negativity, downs, 
the low, low points. We choose to just sit in the parts of us that we needed to be watered and nurtured. It may have been far and few, but when you break away from that job or that person or that family member or that whoever or whatever situation, when you get your freedom, it gives you the power to be free all times in your mind, in your spirit, in your heart. It gives you the free to break free from unforgiveness, regret, bitterness. When you break free and you soar, you're going to see things that you've never seen before because distractions and bitterness and hardened hearts keep us dark. Everybody knows you can't walk around in the dark. You're going to bump into everything. So when you come into the light and the sky is open for you to pick and choose how much joy you have, pick and choose how much peace you have, we've already had that free will. But a lot of us want to share with people that don't deserve it and wouldn't share with us. Um, they call us empaths. Um, we are, but I don't want to get there yet. I want to stay right here just knowing that someone or something may have tapped into you because of your giving spirit. Someone or something may have tapped into it because of your voids. And they came because y'all identified each other as being able to fill each other's cup. But I'm going to tell you what I just learned and what I've been learning over the course of some years now. When you tell yourself someone is in your life and y'all are there to fill each other's cup but every time you turn around when when they know and they can identify they can see that your cup is running low that you have been depleted with the dumbness and they still burden you with more pain more arguing more everything more betrayal more lies but they steady telling you i'm filling your cup i'm in your life we add to one another no nigga, we don't add to one another you are taking from me we don't realize that we've been on E for a long time. Your reserve tank is gone. You coasting until you crash because if you run out of gas, energy, run out of encouragement, and you keep pouring and over pouring because you think this person's going to be courteous, you think this thing is going to pour back into you, but your cup hella empty. Your cup stay on E. And you can't figure out because you got the you got the resources, you got the mindset, you got the heart. Why am I on E all the time? Because you keep feeling and fueling the wrong things. You're fueling the things that you feel the need that you feel will fuel you back. And what they've done is sapped all of your everything, your energy. They've sapped you with the hope that they're going to come by and come back and spin a block and fill your cup. They'll bring you a little bit at a time. When they know to fuel you, it takes a full tank. To keep this thing going because you're going for everybody around you, including them, it takes a full tank. And then you're pouring out. So if someone is that close in proximity to you and claim to want to be in your life and claim to be on your team and claim to be going in the same direction as you, which is the full yard which is the full distance you can't ride shotgun you can't follow me we can't ride in both lanes and you're on full and you see me on e at some point you know i'm gonna run out and you're gonna keep it moving they left and they skated because they have now refueled off your energy and now you so broken you've been running on e you can't even get back up you can't even restart you don't even know what how to go get the repairs that need to be made to make you feel a little hole where you can go into the direction to get better because now they look at you in disgust because you you was too weak it's just like a car you keep running that thing and running that thing without good gas without an oil change guess what's gonna happen you're gonna tear up other parts of that car so now you're trying to find this person and cast this spell. But when you come back, you haven't worked on yourself. So now you're going to be on double E. You might be walking. So when they come back around, they're going to be like, oh, I came back for this. You ain't even got nothing for me to take. You don't even have nothing for me to use you up. At least I used to give you a quarter tank of gas. At least I used to show you a little bit of attention. Act like I cared. But now you on E.E. -E.
Like you won't eat, eat, eat. You was never refueled and you didn't have the energy to go do it yourself to get the repairs, the therapy that you needed. And now you've been calling and begging and casting spells for me to come back in your life. And I'm only coming back to be a taker again because you're allowing it. So guess what? I don't want you. It's like a visual of someone being at a bus stop and you've been begging for them to come back. But when they left you, they knew that you was broken. But they just was spinning the block to see what else you didn't tap into that they could take. But now you outside talking about right now I got to get on the bus because whoop, whoop, whoop. They ain't never want to ride with you anyway. They ain't want to never ride with you in one car. No how. Okay? So they definitely ain't going to swoop you up. And I'm not saying I'm bashing people spinning the block and going back. I've been back and forth, breaking up, getting back together because those things is what you see the potential in growing. You see and don't want to judge but i just want us to not be so harsh on ourselves while we're trying not to judge the next person that's taking everything out of us you're not judging you peeping don't judge yourself for peeping things out and saying and calling it out as it is calling a thing a thing because then you're judging yourself you say i'm not gonna judge you but i'm gonna judge me no we ain't doing that no more we ain't judging ourselves no more based off feeling guilty about peeping something out that's fact i ain't judging you I'm going to call it out and I'm going to keep it moving. I'm not going to judge you because judgment means I'm sitting watching you do it, hammering you about it, and you ain't changing because you don't decide to change. Your consequence will come. I'm going to peep and scope it and now I want to take it for me. That's why I always talk about takeaways. I want to take everything out of everything for me because I know when I show up, I give everything. So at some point, and most times it's been after the fact, I want to take this stuff away from me because if I've endured, I'm not going to cry about how I endured and what I endured and how this person sucks. I'm going to say, I know I sold up as a soldier. I know I was 100% vested. And what I'm going to do is take everything back. Take back your freedom. This is your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. God's love and God's peace to you all.